trick me, I might as well let you know. No shame to the game. I'm 50 years old. I have dated women. I have dated men. And it's no biggie with me. Not ashamed of it. So for those, that person who thought they were going to spray me on today, um, because you said that you uh, was a uh, person that I dealt with and I'm coming and I live in live Oak. I'm here to let you know it's no biggie. Now, it shouldn't be a shock to anyone because I've always said that you can never come out the closet if you've never been in the closet. And if you didn't catch the live yesterday, I said to you all that we the LGBTQ community, and some people did catch that. So I'm and I never get y'all now. I'm I'm serious. I was raised in a practical, pragmatic home. Nothing major. And I will never forget when I said, well, we can go to the Golden Corral. Because you know, it was Sunday. That's what we did. He was the first Negro to say, I don't go to buffets. He said, oh, I don't eat from, he said, I'm not a horse. I don't eat from a trough. Oh, <laughs> I said, well, I guess you'll be paying for dinner. He said, I guess I will because I don't eat from buffets. So when y'all send that offering, um, I'm going to see and we're going to send it. And it won't be the same person all the time, but we're going to hit one person at a time who may be in need. Because I'm just feeling good about Jesus, y'all. Explain to you all what I'm doing. I am a community liaison for ASP Cares. ASP Cares is a specialty pharmacists. So uh, oncology, diabetes, wound care, uh, HIV, PrEP, uh, those types of drugs, they, they're specialty um, We're going to have a discussion tonight, and I want you guys to be thinking about uh, effeminate gospel singers. And when I get through with the message, setting it up, I want you to put their names on the screen uh, during the chat. Uh, let's say uh, when we do our chatting on the chat line. Just put their names up. And uh, see, it's time that God is exposing, exposing wickedness. And it's time. These people have been hiding and, and uh, you know, trying to act like they know God and they don't know God. And like I preached, they've been laying by the pool for 38 long years. And how many convocations you need before you get delivered? How many prayer meetings? How many conferences you need before you get delivered? No, these people are in your ring. That is, they're in a ignominious condition without any expectation of expiration. And they have committed the sin of listening with no intention of doing what they heard. And uh, so we're going to expose some people tonight and uh, singing the gospel, making big money off of Jesus and don't even love him and switching and acting like little girls. All right, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, so I want everybody to try to make it to the convocation. I'm excited. Oh, all right, Charles Brick Moore, God bless you. All right, Tobias, I see you again. Amen. And yeah, yeah, the aim is aim. The aim. Lay me there alone to gaze upon your glory. To you I sing this song. Please take me to the king. 